This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the global automotive industry. As we reported yesterday, China is dominating the global EV race. Of the 10.5 million EVs built and sold worldwide last year, China accounted for 6.7 million of them. And here's a big reason it has such an advantage. China can build EVs much cheaper than other regions. According to the CEO of supplier Forvia, the Chinese auto industry can build EVs for 10,000 euros less than European OEMs. That's because Chinese companies have lower R&D costs, lower levels of capital spending, and lower labor rates. And unlike the U.S. and Europe, EV prices are dropping in China. According to Jado Dynamics, the average EV now costs a little over 31,000 euros in China, which is below the cost of an average ICE vehicle. But analysts expect EV sales will be impacted early in the year by China's decision to end subsidies for EVs, which were phased out at the end of 2022. That caused car buyers to rush out and buy an EV before they ended. And because of that, JP Morgan expects sales of EVs and plug-in hybrids in January and February to drop anywhere between 40 to 60 percent compared to year-end levels. Automakers are taking a different approach now that subsidies are no longer available. Companies like Tesla, Japong, and SAIC GM Wuling aren't making any price changes to their EVs, while BYD and SAIC Volkswagen have raised prices. And while EV sales will be impacted early on in the year, China's Association of Automobile Manufacturers expects EVs and plug-in hybrids to grow by 35% this year. Car buyers generally don't like going to the dealer to purchase a vehicle. That's why automakers are moving towards online sales. But Fiat is taking it a step further and is launching a store in the metaverse. First launched in Italy in December, it's now making its way to North America, where car buyers will be able to shop for the new 500e, which will launch in the first quarter of 2024. Fiat's Metaverse store can be accessed with a tablet, smartphone, or computer and does not require a virtual reality headset. At Schaeffler, we pioneer motion. Electrifying mobility. Manufacturing smarter. Reducing CO2 emissions. Making energy production clean. Scheffler pioneers motion to advance how the world moves. Heated seats and steering wheel are nice luxuries to have on a cold day. And a new interior heating option from the supplier ZF might become just as loved. It's showing off a new heated seat belt that weaves small heat-conducting wires right into the belt. But it's still the same thickness as a regular belt and provides the same level of safety. And like heated seats and steering wheels, it heats up much faster than the HVAC system. And because of that, ZF thinks people might forego using the regular heater, which it estimates could improve an EV's range by up to 15% in the winter. It also thinks the heated seat belt could improve safety because it might encourage passengers to take off bulky coats so the belt fits closer to the body. Many automakers see a big opportunity with VTOLs, or vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. That's why so many have made investments or formed partnerships to develop them. And now Stellantis is expanding its VTOL development with Archer Aviation, which it partnered with in 2020. Stellantis will help build its electric VTOL, called Midnight, at Archer's plant in Georgia starting in 2024, with the goal of Stellantis becoming Archer's exclusive contract manufacturer. The Midnight will have a payload of over 1,000 pounds, be able to carry four passengers plus a pilot, and have a range of 100 miles. And hey, be sure to join us for AutoLine After Hours this afternoon for a look at what could happen in the auto industry in 2023. Joining Gary Vassilash for the show is Sam Fiorani from Auto Forecast Solutions, 
Brett Smith from the Center for Automotive Research, and Jenny Newman from Cars.com. So join us at 3 p.m. Eastern Time for what ought to be a fun show. We want to know what drives your testing, OTA, connected car, diagnostics, remote testing, Intrepid Control Systems is here to help you work from anywhere. Intrepid Control Systems, driven by your data. The joint venture between Sony and Honda, called Sony Honda Mobility, revealed a prototype of their upcoming electric sedan, along with a new brand name for their vehicles, which is a Fila. I'd say the design is fairly basic and is highlighted by thin lighting and a fastback rear end. The interior has a modern look with a yoke steering wheel and a large display that stretches from pillar to pillar. That display will run off of Qualcomm's Snapdragon platform, which they say will help provide a more personalized in-car experience. The platform will also power Afila's self-driving capability. With the help of 45 cameras and sensors, it will have level two plus capability in a number of urban driving scenarios and level three capability under limited conditions. Based on previous reports, the EV will have a dual motor all wheel drive system that makes 400 kilowatts or 536 horsepower and will do zero to 60 in 4.8 seconds. Sony and Honda say they'll start taking pre-orders in the first half of 2025, kick off sales by the end of that year, and then deliver models in the spring of 2026 in North America, which is also where the vehicles are supposed to be built. Could BMW be moving away from its ever-growing twig kidney grill? At least it did with the iVision D concept it just pulled the wraps off of. It's a mid-sized sedan that BMW says features a new and pared-down design language. We like this grill compared to the massive ones we've seen lately, and we'd love to hear your feedback too. But now back to the car. The D in iVision D is spelled D-E-E, -E, and stands for Digital Emotional Experience. And we'd say, that's a pretty accurate description. Not only can the body panels change colors and patterns, a new head-up display system can cover the entire windshield. It's controlled via a mixed reality slider that allows the user to control the amount of digital content they want, from analog all the way to full virtual world. Dimmable windows add to that experience. But this is no pipe dream. BMW says it will launch the full width HUD in 2025. Chinese automaker BYD is launching a new premium brand called Yang Wang, and here's its first two models. The first is a large four-door SUV called the U8. It's powered by four electric motors that generate between 220 and 240 kilowatts which combined for 1,180 to 1,287 horsepower and allow for a tank turn. Zero to 100 kilometers an hour is said to take just three seconds. And if that's not enough, the U8 features motor and body waterproofing, which it claims allows the SUV to float. BYD also unveiled a slick looking hypercar called the U9. It didn't provide many details, but says it will do zero to 100 kilometers an hour in two seconds. Both vehicles are expected to cost in the 110 to $205,000 price range. And that brings us to the end of today's show. Thank you for tuning in. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, solutions for your journey. Intrepid Control Systems, over-the-air engineering, boost your game. And by Scheffler, we pioneer motion.